morning, folks. How are you guys doing in this um, fine Monday morning? Monday morning. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for joining me. Uh, just kind of getting set up here quickly still. Just a couple seconds here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, how'd you, how's your weekend? How did your weekend go? I was uh, pretty busy. Actually. I had a bunch of work to do. So I been, uh, haven't been around this weekend. I hope you guys had a good time. Got some stuff done. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get anything done. I was busy, too busy working all weekend. All right. So mods, new mods, new mods, new mods for farm sim. Let's jump on in. And kablamo. Kaboom. Oh, no. Where'd my camera go? Where's my camera? It's dead. Uh, where is my camera? <laughs> Let's see if I can fix this up. Of course, it's not going to work. Let's try over here. It was working a second ago. Oh, I broke it. Did I really break a camera? That's awesome. It was working just two seconds ago. Uh, that is hilarious. Why did it break there? As soon as we go live, we break our camera. That's perfect. Huh. Anyways, we'll have to maybe listen if we can live without. Um, can we update it quickly? I think we can update this quickly. Properties, properties. properties. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> F in chat. <laughs> Uh, deactivate and activate. Let's try that. Still, I think I, uh, I think I broke it. I think I broke my webcam. I've been having some issues with, uh, some USB devices as of late. And I wonder if that has anything to do with it. No. Let's try if we can figure out. Oh, there we go. Not, not going to be recognized. Fantastic. Yeah, so it's not going to come up. Oh, there it is. Hey! Um, no. <laughs> I got a frozen head. Gonna stay? Is it gonna stay? Uh, it might stay, but it's frozen. Ah, oh, you silly webcam. Ah, oh, guys, this is the problem with streaming Monday mornings. Okay, no webcam today. No webcam. We can't get it to work. <laughs> it's not working. I can't get it to come up. There's something wrong with the USB connection on it for some reason. I gotta figure that out later. It was working fine when I first fired it up, but no luck now. Um, let's talk new mods. Let's talk. Yeah, time for a new one. Thanks, Mark. How you guys doing? Uh, who's in here? We got DJ Glass in here. Of course he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, Flowable, what's going on? Mark, how you doing? Old Timer Dave. Ray, how you guys doing today? Thanks for stopping in and joining me quickly to take a look at some of the new mods for Farm Sim out today. We've got, uh, what have we got? Technically seven? Eh, technically. Um, four are going to be for console and PC, as while we have three that are technically PC only. Um, also, we have three updates as well. So uh, let's dive in. We've got, what have we got for starting off here? Let me get rid of this. Kind of hanging up in the air. Boom. Um, all the mods you're looking at right here, these are all available. Well, sorry. These are not available for console. These are, this one here is, and plus the placeables in behind. So let's start off back here. This is the Lizard MKS-13.5. It is a liquid trailer, of course. And man, does it ever look ugly with this green coloring. It can only be chrome, I think, guys. This can only be chrome. You cannot go... You cannot go in any other colors but the curl, but anyways, we had to match it to the John Deere. Um, a little bit different than uh, the other in-game ones. Of course, it is a kind of a rear link towable, not like a fifth wheel hitch. So you're going to need some kind of a tractor or even a truck will tow this, of course. But I think you want something bigger than a truck, typically, especially like the lizard trucks. Uh, triple axle. It does have a rear liftable axle and you can switch where the uh, liftable axle is. Right now, I've got it set so it's on this rear back axle. You can set it to the front. Now, it'll only take water or milk, but it does have one kind of interesting little party trick. Let's pop on up here. So, you can activate the openings on this one. Now, most of the, the um, out, out of game or the mods uh, off mod site trailers do have an option to open up the hatches. This one doesn't really do that. It just has an activation button. So, when you activate it, you can see how this thing all opens up. Boom. And then you get options for all this stuff, which is kind of cool. I really do like this rear hatch that back and opens up and you have access to all these, but you can't really do anything with it. But I do think it looks pretty cool. I like the way that looks. You got the ladder that goes up on top. Unfortunately, you, can you climb the ladder? I couldn't do it before, but look at that. I, I did there. So I can do it again. That's kind of cool, actually. How did I get to do that? <laughs> I think it was just a, a fluke. Um, I guess there's some filters up there. Now, the interesting thing is you do not have to have this activated in order to fill it, which I thought was kind of strange. On the, there's, I think the... Um, Oh, I can't remember the brand name. There's a brand name of, of other ones that are out there. You have to make sure you open up those hatches in order to fill it with the milk or water or whatever else you're going to put into this. This one here is just a party piece. That's all it is. It's for decoration. It doesn't do anything other than look cool. So I do like the way it does that. I kind of wish it, you had to open it up, to be honest with you. But anyways, I digress. Let's just close it back up again. 
I can show you quickly in the store. Now, I don't know if anyone else had a chance to test this yet. I was not able to get this rear wheel to drop down. There's no option on it for me. Let's see if I can get it to work here. I brought up the menu before. There's no option in order to drop that rear axle that I can see. Look at that. I got that stuck. So I don't know if it fills up. Let's see if we can fill this thing up and we'll see if that does it. Um, I noticed when I had it, it was not doing anything. But we'll see. So you can see the rear axle right now is all the way up. Whoa. Come on, baby. Get around there. Start filling. You can water. Oh, I better stay in this. Otherwise, it's not going to fill, is it? So I don't think this rear axle does drop when it fills up. I don't know. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take a sweet time. Uh, yeah, maybe it is dropping a little bit. I can't. Is it dropping? It is too. So it, it must just drop with weight. Okay. So the other ones I've all seen, they're all like an optional uh, drop. This one here appears to drop with weight as you get weight put into it. I'm lazy. Go. <laughs> uh, as you get weight into it, it appears that it. Yeah, it looks like it's dropping. Okay, cool. I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was gonna do that or not. It, it's the only thing that makes sense, though, considering it didn't drop before. But there it goes. Ah, look at that. Okay, cool. So once you get water into it or your fluid, then that axle is going to drop down. And you can see now we actually have an axle that's on the ground. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, if we go into our store, we'll take a quick look. Where is that? Underneath our animals. Once again, you're going to find all the normal water transports we had back here. The MK8, which is, uh, what is it, 8,000? We've got 32, which is 32,000 liters. And of course, while we have the 13 and a half, which is technically 13 and a half thousand liters, it's actually 13,700. You can see the standard colorings you got, of course. Well, you have it in the chrome, which I prefer personally. I prefer we have it in chrome. It drops at 50%. Okay, thanks, DJ. I was wondering what percentage it would drop at. I wasn't 100% sure if it was 50% or not much. Um, there you go. So you do see, you can see how we have this dual axle, the one the one's lifted right now. You can switch that to the front axle, back axle, whatever one you want to have. I don't think it's going to make a difference for you there. It's just your personal preference. Uh, wheel setups, you got wides, you got lizards or Trelleborg. That's it. Uh, as far as colors, standard. I wish we had more chrome colorings for this piece of uh, equipment. Like it's only chrome. Other than that, you're going to be going to just your, your bare colors. Same goes with uh, design color is just the frame. And rim color, of course, it's rim color. There you go. Wow, that is hideous. <laughs> nice colors clutch. Cool. So there you go, kids. That is the uh, that is the MKS-13.5. It works. It does its job. I don't mind that. It's kind of cool. Um, the other mods for console and PC. Well, let's just take a walk a boot. We've got the machine hall back here. Or the field hall, actually. I always want to call it the machine hall because we have one that's very similar. It's a machine hall. And uh, you know what? Nice, some nice details. It's very similar to, I think, one of the other halls we have. Uh, it just has some more details to it. We got like a little uh, a little table saw here. You got some more details around the other side. Uh, on the back side, I think it's just some extra stuff. That's what it is. Just some extra planks. Uh, inside, one thing I don't like about this is it's got this post right in the middle as the doors open up. Get out of, my Get out of here. This post right in the middle. I'm going to back into this like a thousand times if I use this. Uh, you've got lights over here. Hit that. Lights come on. That is it. There you go. You got a little bit of a spot for uh, putting either some grains or some uh, some root vegetables, I guess, over in the corner here if you want. Not bad. Kind of cool. Let's move along. Right across the street here, we've got Metal Fence Chicken Stable. It's just standard chicken stable. You got, It comes with a little barn or a little shed, I guess a metal tin shed for storing some stuff. If you want, maybe throw some, uh, you can throw some chicken food pallets in here if you like, I guess. That'd be a good spot for it. Uh, you've got this right here is the spawn point for the chickens themselves so you can see here you can spawn chickens in right in this location since we don't have anything that can transport chickens this is where you're gonna have to do that come on over to this side here you've got this is where the eggs will uh, will produce when you whenever we get them uh the gate does open we can walk on in and then the trough is over on the far side for your chicken feed over here go into our store we'll take a quick look uh, where is it? Right at the very end. So 40 bucks a day. It holds 500 chickens. Oops, 500 chickens. I think uh, pretty self-explanatory, guys. There you go. 500 chickens. Pretty, it's a decent size one. This feels really big to me. Like I'm, the shed feels way too tall. Like this feels like this should be just a normal little metal shed, and it feels like it's like 12 feet tall. <laughs> I feel like I'm a midget in here. Like I feel like I'm just tiny. Anyways, we'll move along. Next up, the filling container. Yes, filling stations container. Interestingly enough, now, DJ and I were actually talking about this just before the stream. Um, 
this is actually pretty cool. So this door is closable. Let's, let's close the door first of all. So you're gonna get, when you place it down, this is what it's gonna look like. It's just a container house, basically. Pretty accurate, actually. I, I know a lot of uh, farms around this neighborhood that do this. They have just a, a container out in the middle of the field that has all sorts of stuff. And you open it up, you've got all sorts of stuff inside. It doesn't need to be open for this to work. It will work with it being closed. And you also have a light inside, which should be, there it is. Yeah, that thing here, if you aim at this, it turns the light on. Um, yeah, it works whether it's open or closed, but that being said, so it's supposed to do, let me get the, if I can get the numbers right on this. You're not gonna see my camera. Hey, my camera's working! Hey, hey, look at that! How long is it gonna last? How long is it gonna last? I don't know. Um, let's bring this on up. So it's supposed to do fertilizer, lime, liquid fertilizer, and water. Now, I've had no problems with water. I've had no problems with, uh, was it seed? It worked with this as well. I thought it worked with seed. I had seed work into it. But lime, it does not work with lime. It definitely doesn't work with lime. I'll bring this back up. Let's see if the camera still works. Hey, let's try it. Let's try it. Does it work? Hey! Sweet. All right, camera still works. Hooray! The crab is working! Uh, all right, so let's go to this one over here. So I've got one kind of sitting over here just because I wanted to test it. Uh, which one? Let's take this one over here because this, the, uh, the Bridal does both lime and fertilizer. As we're all aware, of course. Let's bring this bad boy around. And, oh, 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 oh. Someone hit, someone hit the doorbell. There we go. We got fertilizer. We've got nothing else. Nothing else. We just have fertilizer. I don't know why this does not work with lime. It says it should. It doesn't. TJ was all, and I were talking about this. I don't know why it says it does. It does not work with lime. It only works with fertilizer. I thought I had seed in here as well. I can't test that right now, but anyways. Um, just be aware there are some limitations with this. It doesn't seem to be working as well as described. Pretty cool mod other than that, though. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. All right. Let's leave that alone. Let's leave that alone. We do have some PC mods now. So that's it for mods that are available for all console. Uh, for console, I should say. Back on out. Boom. We've got three mods that are available for PC Mac only. Kind of. Now, we technically have the Real Dirt Fix mod. Uh, we also have two trailers. Now, it's technically one trailer let's be perfectly honest here it's just two variations of the same trailer the real dirt fix what this does i can't really show this to you guys of course since it's we're in game um it just allows the dirt fix to stay on the tractor so as soon as you drive off a road with the the real dirt mod on pc typically you would lose all like the lime the grass stains whatever you'd have now that doesn't happen as soon as you, you get stained with it it'll stay there until you wash it off or get covered up with something else so that's how it works um, I like that. That's kind of cool. I, that needed to happen because that was kind of bizarre. You drive like 10 feet on the concrete and all of a sudden your tractor would be fixed up. There you go. That's right, Nitro Dad. <laughs> now my picture's stuck again. <laughs> Let's get rid of this camera. You know what? We'll fix, figure out what's going on with our USB later on. <laughs> oh, man. What did I break this morning? I hate Mondays. <laughs> um, so the real dirt mod is great, but I like that. I like having the fix on it. Now, Let's go over to the trailers. The trailers are really what we want to talk about. The two mods for PC. We have the, uh, it's the ZDT. There's two different versions. The NS5PZ, as well as the NS11PZ. Uh, both of them, like I said, they're pretty much the same thing. Just, just a touch different. Now, one thing that's kind of cool with these. I got a screenshot of that. Excellent. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, both animal trailers, of course. Let's take a look in store quickly. Where are those bad boys? Animals. Down at the end. Uh, oh, no, no, animal transport. There we go. So um, six, 12, 13 for the, the bigger one. So six, uh, six sheep, 12, no, six cows, 12 sheep. No, six, six cows, 12 pigs, 13 sheep, uh, four, seven, and eight. You guys get it, all right? We don't have to go into great detail. For, as for options, let's, they're exactly the same as far as options go. Of course, you have dual axles or single axle, but the same options. So coloring options, kind of limited. Um, you saw the two we had out there. We also have red and blue. That's pretty much it. Same with the design color, just yellow or white. Doesn't matter what colors the main colors are. The design options, yellow or white. The main colors are all green, red, or blue. As far as design goes, it just changes the coloring on the side, as you can see here. That's really it. Wheel setup. You have interesting setup, actually, for wheels. So you all have the standard, you have narrows, and you have wides. You got three different options there. I don't know why you'd want narrows for this. I can't think of a reason why I'd want narrow tires on this trailer. I don't know. Anyways, I digress. So out here, we've got uh, wides on this guy. This is wide wheels. 
This is the small one, of course, the small variant. This one here has got the standards. I, I don't know why you'd want narrows. Like, why do you get to be dragging this through a field? Anyways, um, one interesting thing I did find with this, of course, you can open up, well, you can put the, the tarp on or off. We open it up at the back, down. Oh, you know what? We gotta be in, we have to be in, we have to be in. Forgot about that. If you leave it, if you leave your tractor on, you run away from it, it, it disables the action, of course. Uh, let's jump on in. And as we come around the back side of it, now I can get in back here. And there's actually, if I can do this, I can get in here. Let me in. If you're in multiplayer, this might be a fun mod to play with because you can get in and now I can't get out. This might actually be a lot. You might actually be able to close the doors and lock people in here. Um, and use this to transport people around. I don't know, maybe like a, like a prison simulation series. I don't know. <laughs> you might be able to use this with this trailer with it. I don't know. Might have to give it a shot though. So there's the two options, guys. You have two options with that. And that is really about it. Uh, pretty cool. I like the clever transportation solutions. Cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So that's it for the new mods. We've looked at all the new mods. We do have three, also uh, three updates to look at quickly as well. Let's take a quick peek at this and see if my camera still works or if it's broken again. Uh, boom. Um, camera, don't die, please. Don't die. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, three updates. Oakfield Farm. Now, I've been told by certain reliable sources, aka DJ Goham, that this is no, not updated on console. It is just updated on PC and Mac. I can't confirm, but let me know, guys, if uh, if you guys want to check it. But anyways, Seasons Mask, um, Horse Area has been fixed. New Sheep Pasture triggers have, have been fixed. There's a couple new issues to Oakfield. So if you're using Oakfield Farm, there's, there's some updates to it that you may want to check out. If we scroll on back. Update to the category adder. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Just more categories have been changed up. Uh, more functionality. Oh, no, no, sorry. New translation. New translations have been added to it. So if you're using the category adder, new translations. And the Windrow King has got an update. Uh, new store icons and speed limit update. That is it. That is all. That is all we got to talk about. Uh, resizable resources. <laughs> Realizable resources? What am I talking about, Dirk? What did I miss? <laughs> uh, I'm just... See if my camera stays up. This is all I'm worried about right now. Um, that is it. As far as mods and testing, guys, well, we don't have any mods and testing this week. Um, in fact, I didn't notice this until later on. Boom. We scroll down to the very bottom. Where have we got here? Uh, yeah. Nothing going on this week. They're at PAX East Boston and at e e IEM uh, Catawise. So there's no updates going on this week, unfortunately. No updates on mods and testing. So we still have the list from last week. Nothing new going on there. Uh, there is an update on the JD8R on console. Is there, Eric? I haven't seen anything on that. As far as last week, this is what we had. All we had for the John Deere stuff was the S700 uh, and 600 series uh, combines. Cool. Anyways, boom. That's all we got. Just have a couple new mods to look at. Uh, I hope you guys can go download them today. <laughs> uh, BNK Farms, how are you doing? Mickelson, how are you doing, my friend? It's good to see you. Is Lunatic in here as well? And Nitro Dad, good to see all you guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, just a quick Monday update. My camera seems to be steady right now. I got to tear this computer apart. I got to figure out what USB is causing me issues. I think it's a hub. But anyways. Oh, man. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, the latest updates. We'll see what comes out tomorrow. Hopefully it's something, something good, something more, something new. I don't know. We'll see. It might be a bit quiet with everybody gone on these various conferences this week. It might be a bit quiet over here for the week. But whatever, whatever comes out, we'll have it here. Uh, make sure you guys go check out DJ Goham's full review on all the stuff coming out pretty soon here. I'm sure if it's not live now, it's, it'll be pretty quick. But uh, other than that, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Live stream on our channel will be uh, on actual, let me see, like actual gameplay will probably be probably Wednesday night. We'll, we'll, strive, we'll, we'll strive for Wednesday. I can't guarantee it, but we'll strive for Wednesday night, okay, folks? So anyways, we'll talk about that later on. Have a uh, great Monday, folks. We'll talk to you then. See ya.